When laying offshore cables, often other customers' cables and pipelines directly cross the path of the cable to be installed. Prior to the offshore installation of the new cable, third-party pipeline or cable crossing points are identified during the planning process and protective measures, usually in the form of a concrete mattress, will have to be installed prior to the new cable installation commencing. The protective mattress is lowered by the onboard crane using a frame to support the mattress, which is a flexible structure. The mattress is positioned near to the existing pipeline or cable. An ROV, such as the Predator, monitors the mattress for alignment and position. Position adjustment will be achieved using the vessel to ensure that the mattress is placed correctly to suit requirements. Once in position, the mattress is released, again by the intervention of the ROV, and the frame recovered back onto the barge, ready for placing the next mattress. This process is repeated until the pipeline or cable is protected to the satisfaction of the customer. The final positioning of the cable protection will be identified back to the cable installation vessel so that any minor tweaks of the cable route can be carried out prior to the installation commencing. Cable laying can now commence. To add even more protection, the section of cable passing on top of the mattress will have additional protection applied, an example of which would be Euroduct, but several products are on the market for this. As part of the cable crossing operation, the plough is recovered to the cable installation vessel. With this operation completed, the extra cable protection can now be fitted. It is normal for this process to occur 500 metres before the cable being laid crosses the pipeline or third-party cable. The area of cable in question will have already been pre-calculated so the Euroduct adequately covers the cable surface area passing over the cable mattresses with a certain amount extra each side. Once the cable touchdown point reaches the other side of the cable mattress and the cable installation vessel is reaching the point at which ploughing is planned to resume, the plough can then be launched from the vessel to resume the simultaneous lay and burial of the export cable.